Hi, my name is Melissa Daniels and I have strabismus. Strabismus is when your eyes are not pointing in the same direction and your brain isn't able to use your eyes together. Now, I have been working over the last four years to fix this problem, but today I want to talk about one of the ways that some people are wondering if strabismus can be caused. And that is through using too much screen time. And I definitely wanna get into that. There are some big issues that screen time can cause when it comes to strabismus. And there are some ways that you can fix it. So we're gonna go into that today. Before I get into that, I want to let you know how you can get a hold of me. If you go to learn.strabismussolutions.com, I offer a lot of free resources. You can connect with me there if you want to schedule a call or anything like that. So learn.strabismussolutions.com. All right, let's get into screen time. Screen time is everywhere. And unfortunately, unless we go head for the hills and live off the grid, we're probably not gonna get away from it anytime soon. So what are some of the negatives that can come from all this screen time? So there's two main problems that are going to come when you are looking at a screen a lot. The first is that you are converging your eyes more than needed. I don't know if that's the right way to say it. So your eyes, if you are looking at something close, your eyes point in. And if you're looking at something far away, your eyes relax out. So this is this converging action actually is going to take some of the muscles of your eye and they're going to um, contract or tighten. So one of those muscles is your ciliary muscle and your ciliary muscle is in charge of focusing. So it's gonna tighten that muscle when you're looking close so that it can focus it near. Then as you look in the distance, it relaxes that and you're able to focus in the, in the distance. You also are gonna be using these side muscles and the muscles of your eye, like on the inside and outside, those muscles also tighten to converge your eyes to look at something near. As you focus and focus and focus it near, it becomes more difficult to relax your eyes out. And so you can start getting that esotropic or with your eyes pointing in posture. This actually happened to one of my children. I have a daughter who has great stereo vision, perfect eyesight, you would think. And after COVID and all the screen time that happened with that, she started getting really bad headaches and she couldn't see. Her teacher told me she would walk from the back of the classroom. She'd walk up to the board and she'd be this close looking, trying to see what it said on the board and go write it down. So I took her to go get glasses. I thought, oh, she needs glasses. And there was nothing that glasses could do to help. Um, even with glasses, she still had 20-50 vision, which is not good. And what had happened is that her visual system had kind of locked in at near. So that cil ciliary muscle had locked in at near and she was esophoric. And so that kind of, it's not necessarily like strabismus, like a full eye turn, but it means that, you know, when the doctor's doing the specific test, her eye turns in a little bit. So all of that screen time had led to this like hyper-focusing of her visual system. Okay. This is something that can definitely happen. If you already have strabismus like me, my eyes point slightly in. And when I start spend too much time on the screens, they go in more because I'm looking at near and it, it makes it more difficult to relax my eyes out and look into the distance. So that is a huge issue and probably um, one of the main issues that people are having. It can cause all sorts of problems, eye fatigue, it can cause um, concentration issues and the issues with your focus and all this because your visual system stops working as efficiently, it makes it a lot harder to stay focused on your work. The other part that I wanna talk about is that you're closing off your side vision or your peripheral vision. So if I'm sitting here staring at my phone, I might be really engaged on you know, a funny video or sending an email or something and I'm really focused on my screen and I kind of ignore everything else. As you close off that side vision, when you open your eyes back up or when you start walking around, you've gotten used to not using that peripheral vision and your vision is more closed off, it's gonna really severely affect your depth perception. In strabismus already, we, most people with strabismus have a problem with not using their peripheral effectively, and that affects depth perception significantly. And so the screen time is just gonna make that worse. It's gonna make it more drastic, but it's not necessarily gonna cause an eye turn at all. So what can you do to make it better? Um, 
there are so many things like we're in this world, right? We're not getting rid of screens. Like as much as I want to just like put a hammer through every screen in my house so that my kids don't have the option. Like it's just not realistic. So we've got to look at some other ways that we can handle this. So I'm going to give some really easy stuff first and then get into some more, like if you want a more comprehensive program, we'll get into that in a minute because Obviously, that's going to be the best is if you can take this comprehensive approach and rewire how you look at screens overall. Some small things that you could do today, blink often. Like it feels awkward when I'm looking at a screen, I want to just stare. But if you can blink often, just that blinking, it gives your eyes a minute to relax and can help you from that over focusing, right? Um, breaks, frequent breaks are... A big deal, you've probably heard the 20-20-20 rule. I kind of think it's a dumb rule because it's just not realistic. Like I can't take a break every 20 minutes because you get in the zone and you're working. So what I do is I take breaks after each um, set of like whatever I'm doing. So like right now I'm filming a video. So after I finish filming the video, I'll get up and maybe go to the bathroom or go get a drink of water. Um, I might just look out the window, something like that. So you take these breaks frequently. And what this does is it helps you relax your eyes. Instead of having your eyes constantly like this, you're allowing your brain to look in the distance and relax that focusing system so that you don't get locked in it near, right? That's super beneficial. Another one is open your peripheral. There's so much you can do to help you keep your peripheral um, when you're looking at your phone, instead of just staring at the screen, you can even just in your mind think how far away is that phone from me and how far away is the phone from the wall, right? That opens your peripheral vision and helps you see the space that your phone is in instead of just looking at the phone. Huge, okay? Um, with the computer, you can put peripheral targets around your computer that help you kind of keep your side vision open. I like to keep art on the walls off to the side so that I have something in my peripheral vision and I'm keeping that space open. I have an entire course about peripheral vision. They can give you a lot of ideas. I have a whole video about how to set up your workplace so that it can be the most effective for peripheral vision. So that is at learn.strabismussolutions.com if you want to look into the course. And the last thing I wanna talk about is something I'm really excited about right now. GreenFit is put on by two optometrists who do vision therapy with their patients day in, day out. They are experts on all of this and they've lined out a 30-day program to help you with your vision and the symptoms from looking at screens too often and also helping you learn how to use your eyes more effectively so that you have more stamina when you are on the screen. So what is the program? There's a lot of different exercises that are gonna help your eyes be more efficient so that you can um, last longer on the screen, but also they're going to help your eyes not overfocus, not get those problems that you can get when you're looking at a screen too frequently. So definitely, check that out. Um, if you want 10% off of screen fit, you can use my code Daniels 10 and I will put the link in the description for that. But it's a super awesome program. I went through the entire thing and it definitely had some great exercises that I was able to do that improved just the way I think about using my eyes when I'm on the screen. And that has helped me just develop some better habits. Definitely try those things out. Let me know if you have other things that you do that help with screen time issues that you're having. And if you wanna know, my daughter has been in vision therapy for two months and her eyes have released that focusing problem, which is so exciting. So if it's a severe problem like my daughter's, you definitely are gonna to wanna to go in and actually visit a vision therapy office. Doing a program like my Mastering Peripheral Course or the Screen Fit program, that's not gonna help for a severe case. Those are for um, people who are just you know tired at the end of using the computers. So anyways, if you wanna find vision therapy, you can also find that over at learn.storbusinesssolutions.com. And I hope you have a fabulous day and are learning some good habits for screen time. We'll see you in the next video.